Welcome to Florida. Today we're gonna to go over the top 10 ways that you can work with a marketing agency. So we are here, we're on site, shooting uh, some exterior landscaping stuff. And first tip I wanted to tell you about is that when you're working with an agency, just keep in mind that the agency is your client. Treat them like your client and their client, you know, like their client. Uh, the agency is your client and you never wanna lose track of that. Be respectful to them, always ask what they're looking for, what they want for this particular client you're doing the work for. I'm here with my uh, contact from my marketing agency. This is Chad. Going on. Um, and so he's going to give you uh, one of the best tips that he has on, on what marketing agencies are looking for. Working with a photographer in a marketing agency, one of the things I see there's a big disconnect is a lot of times, uh, you know, in the past we've worked with photographers and they would take pictures of the stuff that our clients would buy. So whether that's a product or a service. So that's kind of like an external level, like we deal with lawn care and landscape companies, so you might perceive as a photographer that those people are buying a patio, but really they're not buying a patio. What they're buying is that whole experience that comes with that. So there's this internal problem, like they're afraid to have their friends over because they have this tiny, stupid little deck in the backyard, and there's this really internal, uh, big internal struggle where they're trying to make sure they get really what they're after. The patio is just the means, and so a great photographer or writer or any type of a vendor that a marketing agency uses, when they get that, um, they can take certain shots or write things in a certain way to really communicate what's truly important to the client. And that's what I love about working with Mike because he totally gets it. It goes past that kind of external and digs real deep. So. That's what I only paid him a little bit to say that. <laughs> just I only paid him like like fifty bucks to say yeah, that. <laughs> All right, tip number two. Always remember that your client's client is their client, not yours. You're not trying to take the client from them. Even if you, you know, the request to do something specifically with you on the side, always remember that that client is your marketing agent's client. Huge big tip. Tip number three, the agency hired you because of your skills and, and probably, you know, how much it costs to have you. Um, but I tend to give um, agencies a little bit of a discount because they are doing a lot of other work behind the scenes that you probably know because you do that work when you just have regular clients. So um, I tend to give them a little discount. They you know, tend to be doing some of the execution of, of uh, creativity and putting all of the shot lists and things like that together. So uh, I tend to give agencies a little bit of a, a, a dip in uh, cost just because of uh, those external things that they're doing behind the scenes. Tip number four, make sure your contract states everything that you're giving them and they're giving you, everything. Um, one of the biggest things is I always try to like make sure that everybody knows what they're getting in, in the deal. Um, so the marketing agency is getting my creativity on the shoot day, but they're providing um, some background creativity for what specific shots they need for their client, stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, it's it's always good to, to have a contract and figure out who's getting what and what you're providing exactly. Tip number five, do your job. Do it to the best of your ability and let your agency do what they're doing best. Um, you know, a lot of the times it's creativity and uh, sometimes it's writing if you're working with an agency that is doing like a, a website or something like that. Um, but do your job. I mean, if you're the writer, write well. If you, but make sure you're in contact with the marketing agency and putting out the voice that they want to put out. If you're doing photography, uh, make sure it's the style that the marketing agency had in mind for that client. Um, so always keep that in mind. All right, tip number six, uh, if you're a photographer, shoot 
uh, portrait and landscape of everything you do. Uh, this gives them options for designing things in the future, whether it be uh, for a website, printed material, whatever it is. Uh, if you don't know all the specifics of what exactly it's going to be used for, or they're trying to just gain a, a, a big grouping of, of photography, if you're doing photography, uh, you need to shoot portrait and landscape of everything, or as much as possible that it makes sense, uh, so that they have options to be able to use that for different things for their client. This is a big one. Number seven, I uh, am upfront with my costs with all of my clients. Um, but with marketing agencies, you gotta be upfront with all of the costs that you might incur. So if you're traveling for them, which happens pretty regularly for me, um, you gotta be upfront on all the costs of travel. Um, and that includes parking and tolls and hotel and food and all that extra stuff. So, but just be upfront with them, tell them the costs, tell them your costs for what, how long you think stuff is actually gonna take you to do and produce. Um, but as long as you're up front, everybody um, is on the up and up and uh, everybody's happy then. So there's no surprises and the agency will be much happier when they, they have the full cost up front. And there's no added stuff on the back end that they weren't, um, they weren't aware of or they weren't going to, they didn't have in their budget for their client. Number eight, keep in mind that if you're used to working by yourself, working with an agency is gonna be more of like working with a team. You, if you're a photographer, you might have, um, you might have to work with a writer, a creative director, marketing person, the owner of that agency possibly, plus their client. Um, it, it, you know, when you get on set for some things, if you're doing video or photo, you, you might have like six, eight people on set. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you're doing video, I mean, you have audio people, you might have a lighting person, plus all the other people. So you're looking six to eight people on some of these shoots uh, for what I do. Sometimes it's not that bad. I mean, this week I'm just with Chad um, and, and we kind of had a really good game plan coming into this shoot. So we knew what we were gonna do and, and knew that it would just be, uh, make sense to just have me. So, um, but I've been on shoots where there are six to eight people and that's pretty regular. So just keep it in mind, uh, it's teamwork. It's not just you. Um, so you have to be flexible with things and, uh, and working in a team is, is really important uh, aspect of, of this job. Number nine, be flexible. Um, schedules change, uh, people come and go. Um, you just gotta be flexible, even with regular clients, but with marketing agencies, stuff is changing constantly and um, it's really, really easy to kind of get frustrated when uh, timing changes or locations change or whatever it is you know you might be expecting a three-day shoot and it ends up being a one-day shoot so be flexible that that's a huge key just taking a stride uh, number 10 final last one I'm gonna put this one in here a second time um, the agency is your client I know I said it is number one but it's also number 10 like the agency is your client like always 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 remember that um, and you always have to know that they're your client and if you know their client wants something from you run it by your client you know, run it by you know, your marketing agency as your client and say look this is what they came to me with do you mind if I do that Do you have a policy on that if they do then follow the policy like because they're bringing you more clients than just that one and you know it's different than having your own client because that's just your one client um, but if they're bringing you multiple clients you know if they have one client that goes that's fine because they're probably gonna bring you other clients uh, it, it's it's a really big deal um, it's probably the my biggest point uh, while working with an agency is, is to just be on the up and up if something happens tell them what happened and, uh, and, and they're your client you gotta keep them happy all right Chad had one more uh, one more thing he wanted to mention so here he is poolside yeah, I know, it's a rough life. Um, I think one of the things that's important to understand is that you kind of have to train people from an agency because a lot of us, we might be creative people, but we might not be photographers. And so there are certain things that influence logistics, like how many places you can go in a day. Um, also, you know, how lighting plays a role, like we can't shoot certain places at certain times of the day. All of those, <laughs> it's still too hot, you want me to do it again? Sorry, this, the, the, the uh, concrete here is blazing hot and I couldn't stand on it to shoot this anymore. All right, no, just keep going. All right, there he is. Yeah, so all these things like play into logistics. So you kind of have to train a marketing person like without overwhelming them with details. 
as far as how it's going to impact the deliverables at the end. So there might be certain limitations, like we can't you know, shoot a property with three different models in a half an hour because there's so much direction and, and understanding or at least trying to do some discovery to figure out your marketing person if they understand those things because I know I've learned a lot along the way um, just about the limitations with light and you know people, um, sound, other things that are going on in the property and so be prepared to train your marketing agency or at least educate them and I would really recommend working with an agency that would be willing to learn that kind of stuff and wouldn't just pretend they knew everything uh, to start off with. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yep. That was a great tip. That was awesome. Now I'm going to get in the pool because it's hot. It is Florida, by the way. And tip number 11, only work with marketing agencies that take you to Florida. <laughs> I don't know, like actually it's hotter in Pennsylvania right now. Yeah. It's way more tolerable down here. And plus, I think everything feels better when you have palm trees. Marco, <laughs> Polo. <laughs>